Hi and welcome back. Now before we move on from WordPress, there's just a couple of things that I'd like to go back through and show you, just to, so that you've got a really good understanding of how to get your pages set up and how to get your posts set up. And also we'll talk about the, the page order uh, plugin as well. So what we want to do is we're just going to set up a few pages. We've got two here already. I'm actually in my support one. I just wanted to keep it clean so I've, I've popped into my other subdomain. So we've got two here already and what we're going to do is just add new. We're going to add a couple more. So perhaps we'll just add um, contact me. So these are going to be the basis for your web pages. So just contact me and go straight over to publish. Okay, and we'll just add another new one. This one is going to be called blog and publish. Okay, now if we view, you can view page here, or you can just click up there and view page. Right, we've got an about, a blog, a contact me, and a welcome. Now they're kind of all around the wrong way, so what we need to do is we need to get them in order and we want to make the welcome our home page. The other thing we want to do is make welcome perhaps a static page so it doesn't actually move um, and then we'll have our blog as our blog page which, with, which will have the posts on it. The about me page isn't going to have the sidebar on it so we'll just go back. We don't want a sidebar on the about me page so what we'll do is we'll just go in to pages and we'll go into the ed about about me and edit. I think we'll change that to my story. Sound a bit better. Okay. Now over here, don't worry about this parent page yet. I'll show you what to do there shortly. It's something else, but we've got template. So default template automatically brings up. Let's update it. The default template will automatically bring up the sidebar down the side here. So if you don't want the sidebar, you go into full page width and save it. Now it's got order down the bottom here, but I actually had quite a bit of trouble with that, so I ended up using a um, plugin. So if we go back, oh, actually I haven't got the plugin on this one, so I'll have to quickly um, pop it in. So what we want to do is just add new. You've already got it on there. I took you through that in another video. It only takes a minute to download my page order. Activate it. Go back into plugins. Sorry, not plugins. Go back into pages. See how it's ordered up here, my page order. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on that, and it's got your pages here. So all you need to do is put, just click on it, drag it to the top. So if you want your welcome first, your my story, perhaps then your blog, and then perhaps contact me, and then click to order pages. And when you have a look, it's automatically done it for you. Okay, so that's that. Another thing I haven't shown you, which I thought I should show you, is how to put a video in. Ah, so we'll just go to welcome. Right, what we need to do here is get the what they call the embed code. So, all you need to do is go to YouTube, okay I've actually just uploaded this one, um, so I can actually grab, oh you can use it already. Okay, what you need to do is go to Embed, and it brings this up here. 
but there's actually little bits down here that you can check to make sure that's not included on it. It's called Include Related Videos because it brings up other videos on your site after yours is played, which is really annoying. Um, you can do different sizes. Say I wanted a 640 by 505, it'll change it all in here. Um, the other thing you could do, you used to be able to do, is put a different colour well, a different colour as well. That's okay, we'll just show you. So highlight, copy. And you literally just go to, you're in visual, so you go to HTML. What you might want to do is just put this is a video of how to upload a video. So just go enter and then right click paste. Now what's this done? It's given you the embed code. Click update. And then you can view your page. That's <laughs> huge. <laughs> Okay, so that's actually good for you to see because what you need to do is you can just manually adjust that. Down in here where it's got 640 times 510, you can make them different. So you go back to YouTube and just get the amount and just change it. So say 560 by 345 and update. Still a little bit big, we just have to adjust it a wee bit more, but at least you can see how you can manually adjust them. So that's good. What the next thing we need to do is we can sh I can show you how to do a parent page. Say if we go to pages, say on we'll make up a new page. Say we'll do um Make this email in reviews, and perhaps you wanted to make each review have its own page. So you publish that, that's your main page. Okay, so we've got a new page. Okay, it's gone in the front again, so what we'll have to do is we'll go back in, go to my page order, pop it in there, and pets there, update it. Okay, the next thing you'll need to do is you've got email in review, so say you wanted to make up a page for, I'm going to add a new page. Um, so we want to make one up for Polaris Group. You aren't doing a review on Polaris Group. So you do up your page. Now what you need to do here is you go down here and it's got parent. And at this stage it's got no parent. So what you want to do is make it that your MLM reviews as the parent. And that's pretty much all you need to do, you just update it. And if you view it, here it is. So you can carry on down, you can just make up another page, go down here, add the parent as MLM reviews, and you can add what you have, however many you want. So that's really nifty. So you can just click on that and you'll go to that page. 
The other thing I just wanted to tell you about was what happens to your um, pictures in the media library. It's good to know this. Um, you kind of work it out as you go, but I wish somebody had told me at the start, so I, it would save, have saved me a lot of time. Okay, so if we go into... Uh, what I might do is go back into training, and I might just go, because I think I've got some pictures in some media. Okay, we've got our magnet there, yep. Yeah. Basically everything that's uploaded from your desktop will be saved to here. But the other thing that happens, which you don't know about when you know, is that it actually also goes to your host gator. Um, so if you ever need to find it again, say you lost it for some reason and you wanted to find it again, or you needed the URL, where the actual file is saved on the internet because what it effectively does is saves your picture um, with its own URL. So I'll just go into HostGator. Okay, I just wanted to show you what um, the files look like in your host gator. I don't know what's happened here, but for some reason I'm having technical difficulties. I've talked to chat support, but they can't seem to work it out either. I can still get on here anyway, so I'll just show you. There's File Manager and Legacy File Manager. The Legacy File Manager gives you a URL, which if you need to use for a, um, a link or something, you can grab, um, or you've just got your normal file manager. It brings us up, public, this is what you want, the public, everything gets saved in this public root directory. And that's my main website, so we'll just go to there. I just want to show you what the files look like. They all get saved to the same, um, the same place. It can take a little bit to load sometimes. Okay, the next thing I would like to show you is that you can I'll just pop back here to the um, Just make sure that you actually understand how you can get your front page. Um, if you don't want if you want your front page as a blog, you can have it as a blog, or you can change it to what they call a static page. So what you need to do is you go into uh, settings and in this reading bit here, click on that and it brings up the front page displays. Would you like it, basically what it says is, do you, would you like it to display your latest posts or would you like it to display a static page? If you'd like a static page, say just um, a welcome to your blog page, you can click on whichever one you want. We set these up before, so we'll go to the welcome page, we'd like that one. And our posts, we'd like to go to our blog page. So you set it like that, and then you can either have full text or summary, and click on changes. So if we look at that, what it's done is it's put our welcome here, and it's put our blog post as here. Okay, so that's just so that you know how to do your front page as well. And that was the video we installed earlier. We should have made it a bit smaller. That's okay. Uh, I'll just have a little think about what else we need to do. Okay, that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about how to install a widget. And that what we'll do is we'll look at changing this here, the header, and we'll also look at changing the sidebars. So I'll see you shortly.